Yeah, so tell me a little bit about WAVE's commitment in HD. HD really represented an opportunity to bring out the best in our chemistry by being able to be personalized. So to recognize that within different patients, we could have an approach that would be targeted and selective to the mutant protein and leave the important healthy protein alone. We believe this is important because there may be a protective role of the wild-type Huntington. And by maintaining that or keeping that um, present actually may be it may provide a protective role in treating Huntington's disease for, for long-term care. Right now we're uh, you know recruiting patients and it is a phase one clinical trial, so you know the number of patients that will be involved are pretty small. And what we hope to do is to get information about the safety tolerability, uh, as well as some information about the um, how the drug works in the body, as well as how, what the body does um, to the drug um, in this uh, clinical trial. So when will it reach to the patients, you think? Can you say anything about that? Sure, so I mean, I as you may know, we started our clinical studies last year. Uh, that study data in the um, first half of 2019 will have that data read out. So as we think about the progress that we've been making across the space, you know, in a, in a, what seems like to us and to others we hear a very short time, um, we know that patients are waiting and we, you know, our goal is to try to do things as quickly as possible but as responsibly as possible. And we always have to find that balance to make sure that speed doesn't compromise quality and outcome. Um, so our goal is to be involved with the community for a very long time. <laughs> One of the most exciting things about Wave Life Sciences as a company is that from the very first day we started the company, we wanted to make sure we were very carefully listening and learning from the Huntington's disease community. As we got to know people in the community and started to learn and understand what it's really like to live with Huntington's, it was important to us to recognize it's a family disease and so rarely are you just talking to and engaging with the patient but everybody around them and their experiences with HD are all unique and different. So our hope is that we'll continue to have an open door with the community and that we'll be welcome to just sit and listen and learn from everybody. So tell a little bit about what you think this exciting project can mean for HD families in the future. Sure. Well, um, firsthand, uh, my cousin has HD, or her family does. Their reason for never being tested, one of my cousins, was that there was no reason to be if there was no therapy to help. Um, and I think with her connection to WAVE, she feels empowered and feeling like there, there's a light that, that might be out there. It's nice to, to kind of have that connection and have that reminder every day of why we're here. We're here for patients, but my, the patients are my cousins.